Welcome to Storyline Online, presented by the sag After Foundation. I'm Simu Liu, and today I'll be reading The Sound of Silence by Katrina Goldsido and illustrated by Julia Kuo. Little Yoshio wiggled with anticipation. Three, two, one! He threw open the front door. The sounds of the city swirled all around him. Tokyo was like a symphony hall. Yoshio listened to the sound of his boots squishing and squashing through the puddles and the tiny raindrops pattering on his umbrella. The sound of his giddy giggles made him giggle even more. <laughs> Suddenly, Yoshio heard the strangest sound. High and then low. Squeaky and vibrating, amazing. It was a koto player carefully tuning her instrument. Then the koto player played. The notes were twangy and twinkling. They tickled Yoshio's ears. When the song finished, Yoshio said, Sensei, I love sounds, but I've never heard a sound like that. <laughs> the koto player laughed and it sounded like the metal bell that swayed in the wind in Mama's garden. Sensei, Yoshio said, do you have a favorite sound? The most beautiful sound, the koto player said, is the sound of ma, of silence. Silence, Yoshio asked. But the koto player just smiled a mysterious smile and went back to playing. Yoshio bowed to the koto player and ran to school. Where can I find silence? Yoshio wondered as he listened to the thwack of his boots on the pavement. He listened for it through the school day, but there was always some kid making noise. At recess, the sun came out and Yoshio went to the quietest place he knew, the bamboo grove at the edge of the playground. But even there, the bamboo made a taka 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 sound as the wind banged its stalks together. He closed his eyes and heard the swish, swish, swish of the wind making the leaves talk. It was beautiful, but it wasn't silence. Walking home from school, Yoshio listened hard. He could hear the horns of buses and the whoosh of bullet trains and the beep, beep, beep of the traffic lights, but no Silence. Yoshio knew so many different sounds, loud and soft, sudden and soothing, but silence? Where was silence? It wasn't in the dining room, where there was always the sound of chopsticks and slurping and chewing and swallowing. <laughs> what a noisy family. Silence wasn't in the bath where even his toes made noise and little droplets of water kept dripping off his nose. Drip, drip, drip. That night, Yoshio tried to stay up late to catch the silence while his family slept. But his eyes got heavy and then heavier and soon the sound of a distant radio became part of his dreams. The next morning, Yoshio woke up to his neighbor's dog barking and barking and, oh no, he had missed the silence. Yoshio walked to school early. His sisters whizzed by on their way to the park, screeching Yoshio's name. Where was silence? Yoshio heard the creak of the school gates as he pulled them open. No one was at school yet. He put on his inside shoes and listened as they shuffled on the shiny floor. The classroom felt different without anyone in it. He sat at his desk by the window and pulled out a book. He loved this story and as he read, he forgot where he was. Suddenly, in the middle of a page, he heard it. No sound of footsteps, no people chattering, 
No radios, no bamboo, no kotos being tuned. In that short moment, Yoshio couldn't even hear the sound of his own breath. Everything felt still inside him. Peaceful, like the garden after it snowed. Like feather-stuffed futons drying in the sun. Silence had been there all along. It had been there between the thumps of his boots when he ran, when the wind stopped for just a moment in the bamboo grove, at the end of his family's meal when everyone was happy and full, after the water finished draining from his bath, before the koto player's music began, and hovering in the air right after it ended. It was between and underneath every sound, and it had been there all along. Ma. Silence. Wow. I mean, I have so many thoughts after reading this book. First and foremost, I am a little emotional. I mean, what a profound story about silence. It's really amazing that this story really highlights the importance of stopping and listening and really taking a moment to reflect. Because when we're listening in, in a moment of silence, I feel like we are in moments of reflection. And in these moments of reflection, we discover things about ourselves. We listen to the world around us. I think this book is really teaching us to, to keep our ears open and to just take in every single sound, including the sound of nothing. And I think that's really, really profound and really important. Silence is the perfect environment through which we can learn, through which we read. And in this world where everything everywhere is happening all at the same time and there's so much to do, it's really important not to forget about the importance of silence. Thank you so much for watching Storyline Online. Make sure you check out all of our stories. And remember, keep watching and keep reading.